Yeah, okay. You're welcome. I want to welcome everyone again tonight to our training. Today is the day three. And then today, as um, we had said uh, in the uh, schedule of our training for this five weeks period, that to be starting um, on introduction to WordPress. So that's what we'll be doing today. Yeah, all right. So um, the, on our day two, we talked about um, how to register your hosting and domain name, okay? And then we also, um, we also looked at the cPanel, the overview of the cPanel, the things you need to pay attention to. We talked about email accounts. Uh, we talked about file manager. We said that when we start properly, uh, we we'll see more things about the file manager, right? Um, we talked about, we mentioned some things about database. However, by the time we start the real designs, we we'll understand what it means. We we'll still talk about uh, PHP my admin, all right? We talked about domains. Yeah, I remember. I remember I mentioned to us that um, for those of us that will be registering our Hosting a domain name individually, you want to create a subdomain. This is where you do that, right? Um, and then uh, I talked about this free SSL uh, that is available with this particular hosting, all right? Some other hostings doesn't have such. You still need to purchase uh, a SSL certificate, okay, with an extra money. However, majority of the hosting companies these days they have this free lesson to so that you can use on your website, okay? And then we talked about uh, Softaculous Apps Installer. So this is where we start from today, okay? So we want to install WordPress, which we'll be using for our, all our web design practice that will be going on uh, through this period, all right? So remember the other day I mentioned that, um, if you remember this hosting account, the other day was 10 gigabytes, okay? It was 10 gig. But we had to upgrade it so that um, it can accommodate as many of us um, that want to be a part of this. Um, that want to be a part of this, all right, so that um, we can use it to practice for our um, personal projects or our individual web design projects. Okay, so uh, we've increased this to uh, one terabyte for that purpose. All right, and then, um, yeah. So um, before we go ahead to install WordPress, the first thing you want to do, okay? First thing you want to do is your um, hosting account. Please, everyone needs to be on mute. Please, everyone mute your mic uh, so that we are not distracted. When it's time for Q and A, to be requested to unmute, okay? All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, so um, what was the last thing I said? Yeah, so you want to ensure that your letter script SSL is um, active. Right, you want to? Oh, I'm sorry about that. All right, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I had a call. Yep. So um, you want to ensure that your lesson script is active, okay? So uh, let me check this first. Um, okay. Okay. So um, 
for this particular domain, it is not yet active. So I want to hear you let a script for this. Um, this is what we are going to be using for our practice purpose for tonight. Okay, so I hit on hear you. I scroll down here, I hear you it. Okay, then I wait. Yeah, so you can see here saying that the SSSK is now installed onto this particular domain within this particular IP address, okay? So I go back, it's now successful. I go back to my C panel. Then the next thing I want to do is that now we start with WordPress. So I click on that. So this is what you see. This is the out, outlook of the Softaculous WordPress installer, okay? So this Softaculous and this is the WordPress installer. The other applications that you can install using the Softaculous application, but we are concerned with WordPress. That's what we're using to design our website, right? So this is the overview. Presently, we don't have any installation, all right? So what do I want to do? I want to click on install, okay? Um, when you click on this drop down here, you see a list of, you see HTTP. HTTP without the S means that there's no site security. Um, there's no SSL on it, okay? It means that there's no SSL on it. But the moment you had the S, all right, it means that there's SSL on it. And then remember the other day I was telling us that there's a way your browser will show that this site is not secure. Okay, so you always want your site to have the HES, HTTPS, colon, um, forward slash, forward slash, right? Uh, so we are installing on this particular domain name, okay, digitalschool.ng. Ensure that in this particular, bra in this particular box here, in directory, ensure that it is blank, okay? If you put anything there, so what it means is that this will be your link, the link of your installation. But because you don't want, uh, you don't want another directory after the main directory here, then you leave this place blank, all right? Then you want to use the latest version of WordPress. So the latest here is 6.4.2, okay? Then we go on. Um, What's the name of our site? You give it a name. So what's your site name or the main title of your site? Let's just say um, digital school uh, for empower 1K, all right? Then um, title, um, so this is more like a slug for your website, okay? Um, um, can someone give us a slug? Just give us something. Can someone give us a slug for maybe a site description? Just a tagline. You know, for example, if for Nike, the slug or the motto for Nike is just do it, all right? Um, there was a time we know MTN as everywhere you go. Okay, so can someone just give us a slug for this? Type it out in the comment section, please. I want response. Can you just type it out in the comment section? I'm waiting for us. Okay, empower for change. Thank you, Mata. Okay. Daniel said, take growth with 1K. Empower the world. <laughs> so let me just go with the first one. Empower for change. I like this. All right. So empower for change. Okay. Um, and then for your username. Okay. Now, uh, when choosing a username to use for your um, WordPress installation, don't use a username like this admin. That would be easy for somebody to guess. Okay. Don't use something like this. I don't advise it. Don't use you can use something difficult for somebody to guess, all right? The way you want to use password, don't use pass, don't use password, you know? 
So people will just write password. Okay, don't use something like this. Ensure that your username is not easy for people to guess and then ensure that your password is also not easy for people to guess. I hope you get that. Then you can now use your email address for your installation. So whichever email address you use is what, um, is what you'll be able to use to get whatever admin information um, there is for you on that site, all right? So just in case you run into a uh, blank screen, white screen, all right? You can always get helps and information through the email address or you, you are using a plugin that start malfunctioning, you, you get information through the email address. So make sure it's a functioning email address of the particular company that you are designing for, right? Okay, so um, username admin, password pass, so remember what I'm doing is just for educational purposes. As soon as I'm done, I'll delete um, the installation, all right? So I'll just leave it as this, admin, then um, pass, all right? Then email, I'll leave it as this, okay? Then you go ahead. You want to get your installation details in another email address, you can as well put it in this particular box here, all right? When the access of that, you can go ahead to click on install. Then you wait for some minutes, depending on how fast your internet is and how fast your hosting uh, account is, hosting provider, your server is, all right? So now I have my um, login details, okay? So once you get this link, remember this will all be your installation, um, your admin URL. So the backend, to log into the back end of your WordPress by default is your domain name. We know domain name, right? Your domain name, which is digital school, digitalschool.ng forward slash. So this is my domain name. That's how I'm saying digitalschool.ng. Your own domain name can be something different. It can be empower.ng, it can be empower.com, it can be empower.org. You understand? It can be um, tolucompany.com. You get what I mean, right? So whatever it is, forward slash WP hyphen admin. That is the URL to access your um, WordPress backend, okay? I hope you get that. All right, so um, to get the backend of the site, I want to type it directly so that um, you, you can see what I mean. Can you see what I'm typing? Or slash WP admin. Okay. And I'll hit on enter. So by default, this is it. Um, someone remind me what our username was. So here you can either use your username or your email address. Our username was admin, right? Then our password was pass. Remember. Okay. But remember what I told you initially. Ensure that you don't use admin or pass, ensure that whatever login details you are using is something that is not easy for anybody to get, okay? Are we good? All right, so after this, you log in. And then here we go. So this is your default WordPress installation, okay? This is your default WordPress installation. So uh, let me start from this. You see, from this top here, from this top, menu at the top here. When you click on this place, it takes you to the front end of your site. This is what you see where you install WordPress freshly, the present version. And then when you click on this same place, it takes you to the dashboard. Allow me to use back end of the site, okay? So for this particular purpose, I won't be saying dashboard. I prefer to just say back end, okay? So takes you to the back end of the site. And when you click on it again, it takes you to the front end of the site, right? Okay. So uh, WordPress initially was, um, was used by bloggers, all right? So they post um, articles, all right? So for those of us that know, you go to wordpress.com, wordpress.com, okay? Then you are able to, um, all right. 
the wordpress.org okay so so those those are the two sites right that wordpress have originally so with this you are able to open blog sites something like tolu.wordpress.com you understand what i mean okay but as it is now we are using it for we are using the platform to develop our own individual website so let's just have a run through of what we have here okay so here you are able to go to the uh front end of the site which is home okay here updates this update shows only whenever any of your plugins and uh, themes have updates okay so in this case now it's telling us that this particular plugin that came with the installation needs to be updated so what do you do you just select it all right and then uh, you update plugin okay and then as soon as you are done it tells you that all updates have been completed okay now go to uh plugin page or you go to wordpress page whatever all right so you see that i'm back to the dashboard okay and then what we have here is for posts so let me go to the dashboard okay so um you see this next three posts media pages okay these three sections here and the comments, they are used to manage content that you have on your site, both text content and media content, all right? So for blog posts, this is where you come to. For pictures, videos, whatever it is you are uploading on your site that shows at the front end, this is where you manage them, okay? Um, this is the library. This is where you might, presently I'm, I just installed this, nothing is there, okay? For post, this is where you manage them, okay? So this is the default post that comes with WordPress, okay? So what it just showed you, shows you will be hello world. View, if you want to view it at the front end, this is what you see, hello world, welcome to WordPress. This is your first post, edit or delete, you know? All right, and then you see comments and all. So you can manage your comment also. Let me go to the dashboard. Then here is where you manage your comments, okay? Whatever comment anyone is, posting on any of your blog posts on your pages. You can manage from this end here. Yeah? You can delete comments, okay? You can remove, approve. You see comments on pending, approve, report comment as spam. You can trash comments, all right? Then here we also have pages, okay? So by the time we start designing our sites, right, um, we'll start creating pages. So this is where we'll create home page, about page, uh, about page, our services, our team, our shop, our, you know, all the pages that site used to have. So if your website will have 100 pages, 10 pages, five pages, 20 pages, all right, this is where you create all the pages, okay? I hope you're following me, all right? Um, so this first four, after dashboard that you are seeing here, post, media, pages, comments, they are used to manage the content on your site, all right? <clears throat> yeah, so now the next two that we see here, uh, appearance and plugins are used to manage the outlook of your site. So here basically we install theme. So WordPress makes use of themes and plugins for the designs, okay? So uh, we install, we get themes, we buy premium themes, or we go and search for um, themes that are available, free themes that are available on WordPress directory, okay? For example, we want to add a new theme, and then when you check here, you can see different theme that you can use, okay? So let's say, for example, you want to design, uh, let me see if I have something like that here, a school website, okay? I search for school, yeah. So you can see different things here of schools that you just install for free. When you install them, okay, then the next thing you start doing is to start editing the designs. You edit the content, change the pictures, change all those things you get. So I, I hope you're following, all right? Let's say you want to design a, um, 
a website for a salon. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is your salon. Okay. Um, okay. So this is the only theme here that says salon. All right. Uh, so depending on the type of website you want to design, uh, your design, the outlook of your design generally, you you work with your themes and your plugins. So under appearance here and plugins, okay? Uh, so let me go to plugins. Plugins are tools. They are like add-on tools that helps us to enhance our designs, all right? They, helps us, they help us to enhance our designs, all right? So uh, they also help to uh, enhance the functionality of our site. For example, um, if you have an e-commerce site, you need a payment gateway on your site. It means that you need to get a plugin, all right, that you'll be able to use to integrate the payment gateway on your site, all right? So uh, you want to enhance the search engine optimization of your site. You need to get a plugin for that. You want to add a feature so that people can download uh, books or digital product on your site, you need, to, you need to get a plugin. You want to, so whatever features you want to get, we use plugins for that purpose, all right? We use plugins for that purpose. But you see these two, they just come with um, sites, uh, they, they come with the fresh installation of WordPress. So usually I don't use them, so I just delete them whenever I see them, then I start on a fresh note. Now, this is a note that I tell guys, right? Whatever plugin you know you are not using, okay, don't leave it on your site so that one, it doesn't keep your site every two, um, by the time people are checking or so that it doesn't put your, so that it doesn't put your site at risk. Okay, yeah, so Damnola is asking that can plugin crash a site? Yes, your plugin can crash your site if your plugin is outdated and you refuse to update it or the developer of your plugin has issue with their programs and then um, doesn't flow along with the present version of WordPress. So when it comes to websites, you always want to ensure that your sites are up to date, okay? You want to ensure that your sites, your themes and plugins are up to date. So whenever anyone tell you that, ah, I need to update my WordPress site, means that you want to go and check your themes. Is it updated? You want to go and check your plugins? Is it updated? You want to go and check your security plugins, especially your security plugin? Is it updated? All right. So that you don't allow any backdoor um, for malware attacks into your website. All right. So, um, so that's that. Okay. This is where you can manage the users that you grant permission to your website. Okay. So, for example, I am still the only user. I remember my username that I used was admin, right? Okay, so um, if I want to edit, I can't edit my username. I can't edit my username, all right? However, you can get, you can give my, I can give myself first name, I'll give myself last name, then the name that will appear to the public. Now, you want to set this so that by the time you start posting blogs, people see your name, okay? People see the name of the person that posted the article. I'm sure that at one point or the other, we'll have seen some blogs, okay? Uh, and then we'll be able to see, can someone just type out the name of a blog? Maybe all these bloggers, uh, let me see. I've never checked before, so I don't know their site. Sahara um, Reporters, I know, yep. I've never checked before, but I know they should have, they should reference. Okay, so this is more like a blog. Okay, when you scroll down, you should be able to see the name of the person that um, typed out the article. All right, um, no name, no name, there was no credit, okay. Well, let me search for punch. Oh.
Okay, so story by punch staff, all right? Where they actually typed out this punch staff as the name of the person that typed out the article, all right, was this place. So for example, if I say that my name is punch, punch, and my last name is staff, all right? So I can now come here, and my nickname is um, nice guy, nice guy, all right? So I can come here to tell this, um, what was it called? This, my um, website, that I want my name to show as punch publicly. I want my name to show as staff. I want my name to show as punch staff, all right? Which is my first name and last name. I want my name to show as staff punch, which is my last name first before my first. I want my name to show as nice guy, which is my nickname, all right? Or I want my name to show as my username admin, but I don't advise this. Please never use your name, your username as your public display name so that people, those who want to hack your website will not use that to access, all right? That means they've already gotten a step correctly, okay? So you want to go and change uh, your public display name from your this thing, but I'll, yeah, I'll just make my public name nice guy, all right? Did you get that? Okay, and then you want to put a picture, you can do that here. You want to set a new password. So remember the password I used the other time was P-A-S-S, -S, pass, very easy. So you can come here to set a password that is very strong. So now, for those that um, you subscribe for, you subscribe for the subdomain, the three subdomains that I was um, sending out, okay? You'll be given a password that is not strong. So you need to come to users, enter your profile, or I edit, and then change your password to something stronger than what I will send to you. What I will send to you will be something very easy that anyone can get. So you need to come here and change the stronger password. So that will be your first assignment when you get that login details, okay? So we'll get the login details from tomorrow, okay? I wanted us to see this before I start sending us the login details, okay? All right, then you update your profile, right? So once I update my profile, you see here that my public display, display name is now nice guy, okay? So um, I'm coming, um, let me do this so that we can see. Um, so I'll go to posts now. If you want, I want to add a new blog post, right? This is, I'll come to her post here. There are different ways by which you can add a new blog post. You can either come here, click on add new blog post. I hope you can see here. Or at the drop down here, you see add new blog post. I hope you can see this. Or at the top here, you can see this plus button. There'll be a drop down when you hover your mouse on it. You can see post here. When I click on it, it still takes me to the same page. Add a new blog post. So we just do a sample um, post here, okay, for us to see how uh, this will look like. So someone give us a title, our first sample um, blog post, okay? Um, then um, I need, So, so I'll just come here and then I'll select all these. Okay. You copy, come back here. Okay. So let's say image. I want to image library. Um, for this map 
of Nigeria. Okay, images, courier. Um, so I was tell us about getting images for your website. So what I'm doing now, I don't do it. All the pictures I use, I subscribe for them, all right? Stock photographs, all right? So it's not advisable that you just take images online or else um, the owners of the images might come after you, okay? Um, so I'm deleting this site soonest, as soon as I'm done with this, okay? So um, this, that, then I come here, um, another paragraph, and this is the conclusion of my blog post, okay? So, um, after that, you can come here to preview. Preview in a new tab. Let's see how our blog post look like. So you can see what is showing. This is our title. You see our first sample blog post. Today's date, by who? By nice guy. That is my name, all right? Then the category of the post, uncategorized. So by the time we start designing website properly, I will tell us about all this, the category of website, um, and then here yeah, is the public comment of people, all right, about your blog post. So I hope we can see that. Then once you've seen it and then you are okay with it, you can go ahead to publish, okay? Yeah, so that's that. That is that about this. Then, um, um, yep. Yeah. So we get back here. Now you can see a list of all your posts. So remember, uh, let me go back to the front page of the site. Um, we see, okay, this is sample page. Um, okay, I'll, I'll get through to this and then we'll be able to see where you locate all your blog posts. Now we've seen users for tools here, additional tools that you need for your site. So import, export. For example, you have a WordPress site somewhere that you want to import here. You can do that from this link here, all right? So there are different import tools that you can use. You can install another WordPress site directly. How do you do that? You first export all your content, all right? You download it, then you now come and you, you download it from the site you are coming from, then you now come and import it here. You can check your site out here and other details as it is here. And then there are some things here that I will advise you not to go into. If you don't, look at what he's saying here. You appear to be making direct edits to your team. So if you are not tech savvy, you don't have to come to this end of the site, all right? So then the last thing that you see on your dashboard on your dashboard here is settings, all right? So general here, yeah, you can see, remember the title of our site? Remember the slug, somebody gave us Empower for Change. So you can always change it here if you want to, all right? Um, whenever somebody default rule that anyone gets is subscriber, you want to keep it at that. You want to change your time zone to your country, okay? And then other details here, you leave it as they are. You want to change your time format, you want to change your date format, you can just walk around it. Feel free to just play around it whenever you have, you install your own WordPress, okay? Um, yep, and then for writing, um, let me hold on a bit. My network, all right. So for writing, you can check here for Default post category. So remember the other time when I was when I posted um, what was it called uh, for when I posted that blog post, right? It just showed me that the category is uncategorized. Okay, so you can set another one as default. Default post format, all right? Um, you can set it here. Mail server, you can set it here. So for those of us that have, um, for example, for this new domain name that I've just um, 
set up here, all right? You want to send mails to people, okay? You can set up your mail server here that will be sending automated mail to people, probably people that subscribe to your email list, all right? So you can do that <clears throat> from here. Okay, for reading, reading is now, um, for, for reading, reading is um, if I want to set a page where people will see as your own page, this is where we set it, okay? So by the time we start the design proper, I will show you what you need to set up here, okay? So for example, for post page, a sample page, because that's the only page that we even have on the site for now, all right? So by that we create our blog page, you'll be able to see all those. You can also set the number of blogs that blog pages, blog pages show at most how many posts, okay? Um, all those, you can walk through it around here, okay? And then discussion, you can set up whatever it is you want to adjust about the comment section, okay? So comment author must fill out name and email. So whoever wants to post comments, you want them to fill out their name and their email address. If you don't want them to, you will uncheck, all right? Automatically close comment on post older than 14 days. So these are just settings to ensure that uh, people don't spam your um, blogs or your posts with different adverts, all right? People used to do that, okay? So anyone post, anyone can post a comment. Okay, no, email me whenever anyone posts comments. Email me whenever a comment is held for moderation, all right? So the system is also able to hold some comments for moderation, okay? So that until you approve the comment, then um, you won't, it won't show publicly to your visitor. So before a comment appears, comment author must have a previously approved comment. So it means that the, what I'm setting here is that anyone who posts a comment, the first comment I have to approve. After my first comment, after I've approved the first comment by that person, then any other comment the person makes will be approved automatically. Some people know this, so they will first post something, they will allow you to approve, then they will now start spamming your uh, this thing with different comments. So you can as well just come here and just say that I want to approve all comments on the site before they show on the front end of the site. So these are just ways to manage um, your site so that people don't spam with unnecessary info that you don't need. So here yeah, you can also manage your media, you can manage your permalinks, how you want links to show on your website, all right? So usually we use post name, all right? We don't use day and name, all right? We use post name, except for a website that you are designing, use post name, except it's just a blog site that you can stay with day and name, all right? Okay, um, that's that. And then you can go to uh, privacy policy, that's WordPress. Maybe you want to read all those details, okay? So that is that. Um, for today. Yeah, so that is that for today. That is uh, the interface of the WordPress dashboard uh, when you newly install it, okay? You can also see here that I can manage my profile from this place, okay? If you want to have more than one, yeah, forgot to mention. So if you want to have more than one user, probably uh, you want to add one more staff to help you um, to help you manage the website also. So you can come here, add a new user, all right? Um, create username for the person, okay? I can say new user, all right? Email address for the person, um, info at djtowsco.ng, all right? Uh, new guy, all right? And then you set the password for the person or you tell the system that send the new user and email about the account and then, so you cannot give the person a role here, okay? So if you are giving the person a contributor, it means that subscriber means this guy can only probably comment, okay? A contributor means that this guy can 
um, can contribute article to your site, but it won't show at the front end. And Hotel can also do that with IR, IR uh, permissions. An editor can approve whatever articles these guys have contributed and then can also post personal things, all right? But an editor cannot edit the design, cannot manipulate the design of your website, all right? But an administrator is the, uh, permit me to use that word, is the Yogawata of them all, right? So is the chief of them all, is able to do whatever, can delete any other user, can um, change the design of the site, can delete posts, can manage posts, can do whatever, all right? So depending on what you want to give the guy, you do that, okay? Let me say I'm giving this guy editor's role. So I come here and I add new user. So it means that presently I have two, okay? I have two um, users to help me manage these sites. One administrator and one editor. And you can see their role here. Okay, one administrator and one editor. Then here also you can see that this guy already have two posts. Those are the one I just did, okay? And then the default one that came with um, the um, website, okay? So I hope uh, we've been able to learn something, okay? For those of us that have used WordPress before, this will be more like a refresher. And then for those of us that these are our first time seeing the back end of WordPress, okay? Um, this is, um, this is a welcome. Let me say this is a welcome to the world of WordPress. Now, you can see again, this is how the front end of our site looks like. We have not started any design, okay? But this is where it starts from, uh, because from this, we are going to design beautiful websites that where you see, you'll be happy. And I'm sure I look forward to seeing uh, the website that each animal of us we design personally, all right? Yeah, so that is that for tonight. We have 10 minutes to go, and then uh, we have the floor open for questions and answers. Our next class will be next week, Monday, where we go, where we go, where we continue to work on introduction to WordPress, all right? So on Monday, we'll, we'll see examples of, we we'll install a thing, we we'll install a plugin, and then we just look at some little editing or some little tweaks, some things to look at and consider uh, whenever we want to design a site, all right? How to prepare your site with a security plugin, how to prepare your site with a basic plugin that you need for editing, all right? Editing the front end of your site, your designs, how to uh, prepare your site with SEO plugin. What's SEO? SEO means search engine optimization. So this helps uh, the search engines to be able to uh, index the content of your site. And then whenever anyone is searching about anything related to your website online, they will be able to access it, all right? So we'll look at all those in our next class on Monday evening by 9 p.m., all right? Okay, so um, we'll... We'll make, we can now, um, we can now unmute so that we can ask whatever questions we have from our session for tonight, right? Okay, let me go to the chat section. I have some questions here. Um, yeah, you be, you be, you be. Can plugin crash a site? I think I've answered answered this. Yes, it can. I can't hear you. Oh, I hope I hope you heard everything I said. Okay, so I hope you you were able you were later able to hear me before I got to this point. All right. Um, someone said newspaper sites have the names. I don't understand that question. Right. Um, 
Someone said, did you install the WordPress inside the subdomain or main domain? So I installed this on, a, on the main domain. So the main directory. Okay, can you see? I installed it on the main directory. Okay, yep. So then, um, okay, someone said yes, it did. Okay, um, so let me know. You have any other question? Please unmute and ask your question so that we can round off for tonight. Do we have questions? Do we have questions? And there's a, there, I said something in the group chat. I don't know if you can help, help me check it out. Okay, hope we will be able to get the record after this for practice. Uh, yes, for tonight, I will send record. I will send, I will upload on my YouTube channel and then I'll share with us. Mommy. It's my session. Okay. Do you have any other question? Okay, so in the absence of none, um, so by next week, next week, Monday, we have the second part of this introductory class of to WordPress, all right? And then by Wednesday, we start the practical sessions. So it's expected that every one of us, before our class on Wednesday, we have our subdomains that we, are, that we use for our personal sites, all right? It's expected that we have it. If you don't have it, it means that you are not really interested to go on with this. You don't want to practice. My take is this. You can't learn a skill without practice, all right? And um, why we are setting up this session is for you to be able to, uh, for you to be empowered with the skill, all right? So it's important you have what you want to practice with, okay? So go online there are different hosting and domain companies that you can get hosts and domain from so uh get it open subdomains in our last class i taught us how to register hosting and domain i also taught us how to create subdomain in your cpanel accounts all right so do that okay and then send me the links of your subdomain so that i can also add your names to sincerely those are the people i will take us uh, that are very serious with this training session, all right, that they are ready to practice with what we are learning. Those are the people I'll take very serious, okay? So um, let's get that done, and then um, that would be good. Congratulations, uh, Mata, right? So she was the one, she's the person that had that A, okay? And I hope she's saying a thank you to everyone who voted for her, okay? So she'll be getting a desktop computer this weekend. All right, so congratulations once again. Okay, so let me read the other two charts that I have here. Mm -hmm. Someone is saying, hope we'll be able to get it. Yeah, yeah, someone said thank you. Is Wix.com a subdomain? Um, Wix.com itself is a domain of a company, but if they give you something like, uh, if they give you something like, um, um, um event.weeks.com then that makes it a subdomain all right so if there's now event.weeks.com then that event.weeks.com is a subdomain of weeks.com okay so if digitalschool.ng is a domain but if you now have tolu.digitalschool.ng that is now so tolu.digitalschool.ng is a domain is a subdomain of Digital school dot ng. I hope you get that. All right. So, how long will we be able to use the ones you create for? So, um, you'll be able to use it for the next one year. All right. You'll be able to use it for the next one year. Okay. Um. Yeah. And then. Okay. Okay. So, Askomata is chatting and she's saying thank you all. I am very grateful for your votes. God bless you. God bless you too. 
right yep okay so that will be all for tonight um thank you for your time god bless you so we'll see you next week monday by 9 p.m cheers <laughs>